All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. He took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. the reigning defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Diaz is 11 years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 17 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting in the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Assassin. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. So here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. 
All right, good to have you with us tonight as we get round one underway. On one side of this equation, we have one of the best jiu-jitsu practitioners in the sport. And whether he pulls guard or goes for the takedown, you gotta think at some point, this fight's gonna hit the net. As soon as the fight hits the floor, he's gonna start throwing up legs, he'll start attacking his neck. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Great punch, man. So much power. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. That shot is blocked by Diaz. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Nice stick with the right hand. They continue to exchange. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. It's easier said. Oh! What a fantastic... Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's gonna like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the very first round. Including the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Assassin. So his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody. Anybody within the weight area, if he decides to go up, he's a problem at 185. He decides to go down, he's a problem at 155. He is just that good a fighter. Congratulations to the champ on retaining his title.